Next guy I want to talk about is Raheem Gonzalez. He had a really hard finals fight. He beat Serbia in the quarterfinal or the semifinal, which the whole crowd booed him. The fight was in Serbia. He wins, he gets booed. And then in the finals, uh, he gets dropped. Then he drops the guy in the final round, emotional victory. To me, he screams um, Malik Scott meets Roy Jones Jr. He has the hand speed of Roy Jones, but then he loves to move around kind of, and Malik's a mentor to him. I see a lot of those too. The mental toughness is there. What do you see with Raheem Gonzalez? Did you think he won that final? Honestly, I kind of checked out. I was just kind of assessing him as a fighter. So, okay. but I've heard it 50 50. Like, honestly, I've met him. I'm an American. I'm going to always probably fade. It's a 50 50 fight. I'm the worst person to ask. It, I, I think the, the trouble with the amateur, or one of the, one of the many troubles with the amateur system, is, is because it's not a 10 8 round when you score the knockdown that, that you know, judges have seem to have their own criteria for what is a 10-8. And uh, I mean, if you if you give them both a 10-8, and then it's on the second round, which which for me he lost. But if it, you know, did, did Gonzalez dominate the third round, uh, third round more than he lost the first round? Probably. Um, but you know, they're into that grey area of how, you know assessing rounds and how dominant one is, and you know, it, it becomes it becomes difficult. Uh, yeah, um, I liked Gonzalez. I don't know. I don't know how far he goes as a professional. I, I couldn't quite work it out. He he seems to have a lot of talent, but I couldn't I couldn't work out. He seemed to be missing and and this is an unquantifiable thing. It and I know that sounds silly, but there's there's something missing. I couldn't put my finger on what it was, and I was just like, I'm not sure how great you are. And I, I don't know if it was maybe that I didn't really rate the division, and I thought that you know he wasn't beating the, the best level of fighter anyway. Um, but yeah, something seems to be missing for me. And I don't know if you, you kind of have any opinions on, on what it is that, that's not quite there. Like you say, the, 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 the hand speed is impressive and he's obviously got a will to win and, and heart and desire. But something just, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't 100% on him. I think it's experience. I think he puts a lot of pressure on himself. And I think that if he gets experience, he's going to be on the 2024 team. I think he's going to be the captain of the team that over time, when he gets comfortable, I think he will shine and fall into what I think he's meant to be, which is a star. He won a gold medal. But I think it's the personal pressure and how bad he wants it limits what you're seeing. And I think that's the it factor you're not seeing right now. Okay. So, you know, for, in that sense, hopefully he does remain amateur um, because, you know, three years of of honing that and, you know, going around and, and fighting in these tournaments around the world and, you know, doing that will hopefully um, help that and, and relax him. But did Am I right in thinking that he he should have been representing USA at the, the Olympics? Am I right in thinking he won the trial? And then well, he did... won the trial dominantly. Mm -hmm. He probably had the best Olympic trials of anyone. He didn't even mm -hmm. lose a round. But then because of COVID and because he hadn't fought internationally, they went they off went. the world rankings and he couldn't be on the team. So he really should be a two-time Olympian, but mm. his dream is to be an Olympian. So he's kind of, Raheem's kind of taking a Cuban and Eastern European approach to boxing where he might be a lifelong amateur and then might turn pro in like his mid thirties for all we know. How do you think he would have done um, at, at, um, at the Olympics? Cause I, like I say, I, I think the standards of these worlds were lower than the Olympics um, I, I think that was one of the poorer divisions. How, how do you think he would have mixed it? Well, dating back to our conversations off my memory, there were only two guys that I was extremely blown away with in that division. And it was Ben Whitaker and Iman Ketoff. So mm -hmm. it really just came off. When did you fight Ben Whitaker or when did you fight Ketoff? Like that would have been, it would have come down to me with seeding because those two styles, I think would have been exceptionally difficult. Beyond those two matchups, I think he could have easily been a medalist, just depending on the seating. Yeah, that that was um, yeah that was um, a tough division. There was like because I remember I, I was big on the uh, the Australian Paolo Acuso, and he lost in the first round. Um, yeah, that, that's a it's a fair point. It's it's impossible to say, isn't it? <laughs> it was just a hypothetical that I thought I'd chuck out there. Um, yeah, there was. Um, the other fighter that I actually thought would do well when I looked at the draws originally was, was an Iranian. And, and I'm just going to check my notes to try and make sure that I say this guy's I name. I like correct. this. You got actual notes. This is why you're the best guest ever. 
um, Geschlagli. And uh, I saw him at the uh, Asian Championships um, earlier in the year and he won. Um, and I was really impressed at the time and I thought, uh, I thought he's, you know. He What's up, everybody? It's your good friend, Lukey, and I appreciate you watching this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video. And also, if this is just a single video and you're saying, where's the full interview? Look at the upper left-hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.